I would have hoped that if the Prime Minister is making public spending commitments today, that she would have said that those that rely on social security benefits will get their benefits uprated in line with inflation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Speaker, when the Prime Minister last stood at the dispatch box, the average two-year fixed rate mortgage stood at four and a half percent. They are now at six and a half percent and rising, hitting average families with an extra four hundred and fifty pounds a month of mortgage payments every single month over and above what they were paying. 37 days into the job, this is literally the cost of the Prime Minister's yeah, yeah. incompetence. Yeah, yeah. It is the price households are paying, yeah. and all because of the Chancellor that she chose. Exactly. Will she now give up her desperate plan to save her Chancellor's skin by scapegoating the Governor of the Bank of England? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, the action we have taken has meant that families in Scotland and across the United Kingdom are not facing gargantuan energy bills. And what the Honourable Gentleman and his friends in Scotland could do to help us out is build the nuclear power stations that are going to help our energy security, help us get more gas out of the North Sea to help deliver on a more secure energy future for all of our people. Mr Speaker, if she wants to ask us questions, we can swap places. But, you know, the reality is, Mr Speaker, that the Prime Minister is ignoring the damage of the chaos of the mini-budget. She is worrying about saving the Chancellor's job. But many families are now worried not just about heating their homes, but keeping their homes, yeah, Prime yeah, Minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The scale of this Tory crisis is frightening. 100,000 households a month are up for mortgage renewals. People can't afford to pay an extra £4,500 a year in interest, and plenty are already falling behind. Yep. The Prime Minister and her Chancellor have completely lost control. The only thing growing under this government are mortgages, rents and bills. Is that what she really meant when she declared herself a pro-growth Prime Minister? Yeah. 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 Well, we have taken action on helping families heat their homes. And that's been very important. And I would love to see more support on delivering the energy security we need. Interest rates are rising globally. That is a fact. And interest rates are a decision for the independent Bank of England. But I want to do all I can to help families across Britain. But the way we're going to help them is by delivering economic growth, by making sure we have the jobs and opportunities in Scotland and right across the UK. And what independent forecasters have shown is that following our intervention, economic growth is going to be higher than it would have been That's if right. we hadn't acted. Yeah. And that is vitally important Absolutely. for the jobs, the opportunities and the livelihoods yeah. and helping make sure people are able to put food on the table. Yeah. Yeah.